Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. I feel like as my photography style kind of changes throughout the years, so does the way that I edit and also the programs that I use. So I love to come on here and kind of update you guys on how I've been doing things recently, what kind of colors and techniques I've been leaning into. But today we'll be using a program that is about to launch. It's called Aperti. And a huge thank you to them for working with me on this video. And if you watch a lot of photographers here on YouTube like I do, it may sound familiar to you because my internet friend, we have not met in real life just yet, but her name is Julia Trotti. She worked with them to create this program. If you're not familiar with her work, she's a portrait photographer like me. And this program is literally dedicated to editing different kinds of portraits. So things like studio or outdoor portraits, fashion and lifestyle, headshots, weddings, graduations, literally any kinds of photos that include people in them, Aperti was designed for. So Julia worked with them as sort of like an insider for us portrait photographers to share what we really want and need when it comes to retouching and streamlining our editing process. And so with all that, it literally finishes the job in a fraction of the time compared to other programs. And we're gonna dive into how exactly it does that. So I have my computer here. I also have my tablet, which you guys know I love to edit on. And we're gonna dive right in. So like I said, this program was designed for us portrait photographers in mind. And to prove that, they have a variety of features specifically for face contouring, skin smoothing, unifying skin color, under eye dark circle removal, and even red vein removal. So we're getting really specific here. For me, I really do love editing, but not the really meticulous parts that come with it and the retouching that takes hours and hours. I really just want to spend my time getting creative, taking photos, playing with my camera and colors within a photo and not necessarily editing little blemishes. Like that's not what fulfills me in this life. So anything to help me kind of automate and reduce the amount of edits and actions I have to do, I'm so down for. And recently more than ever, I feel like I am super impatient. And once I take a photo, I just want to post it and share it and kind of be done with it. But let's get into it. So I uploaded this portrait I shot of my friend Charlotte to my project and Aperty has the ability to recognize up to 4,000 key facial points to make those sort of subtle makeup adjustments or you can even go the route of something way more comprehensive like reshaping. And even though Charlotte's face is turned to the side like this, it still registers every single part to her face so that the adjustments we make are more accurate. But first I'm gonna crop this image because there's a lot of extra headroom going on in this photo and I really want the focus here to be Charlotte. Then I always like to just make those pretty average photo adjustments playing with temperature, tint, exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows. I always try to shoot my images in the color profile or white balance in the way that I want it to turn out in the end, but sometimes it's hard to kind of get it looking exactly how you imagined. There's also things like curves, sharpen, noise reduction, all sort of basic things I like to play with before I get into the actual retouching of the image. I also love how you can see all the settings and the focal length of the image as well. So this one has an ISO of 125. The lens I used to take this was a 35 millimeter f1.4 and the shutter is at 1 one twenty fifth of a second. I feel like sometimes if I'm shooting in really low light, it's actually really nice to reference the ISO right there super easily because if it's super high, I know that I kind of need to go into the noise reduction a bit and boost that up. I'm feeling pretty good with those adjustments. We can go right down the list and move on over to the retouch panel. For the skin, there's blemish removal, freckles, skin smoothing, face skin color correction, dark circle removal, face brighten, and even shine removal. So what I like to do, and this is when I'm playing with any sort of program, is I just go down the line and play with each of these things and see what's going on and kind of adjust from there. Moving on, we can change the color of the original iris, which is super fun. And then we can go really into detail with redness removal, eye whitening, and eye enhancement as well, and be in full control of the intensity because we want this retouch to still look natural. But here under makeup, we can adjust the blush, contour, highlights, lips, and even the eyeliner. And although Aperty does use AI technology, their models are trained in using advanced synthetic data sets, which all of that sort of goes over my head in a way, but I know that this means that the algorithms artificially generated data rather than using real images from photographers, which we love. So when you're editing, your work is completely safe, protected, you don't have to worry about any of that. Now the retouch panel has got to be one of my favorites, but my other favorite is the creative panel here. And here we have studio light, portrait bokeh, LUTs, 
film grain vignette and high key. And I did want to talk about studio light because this is literally insane. Just wait. So this tool lets you select up to five sources and place them anywhere on the image. So you can change up your scene and add lights in places that you didn't while you were on location. I love using different textures and patterns and getting really experimental with it. So changing up the hue, the scale of the pattern as well. And it literally looks as real as you can get it because it understands the image you're editing and the natural curves and shapes of your subject. I could literally play with this all day because I think it's just so cool that you can relight something in post because there's always times when I'm shooting where later on in the edit I'm like I wish I put this particular light in this spot and I didn't and it's like the only way to deal with that is go and reshoot it but with this you can add it in later but as I'm working on the studio lighting I'm always just sort of jumping back to the basic adjustments because we're introducing different lights and color as well so that kind of changes our overall photo so it's just super important to me that when I'm editing the colors especially when working with warmer tones like this are exactly how I like them we also have LUT presets we can choose from to change up the color grading of the photo and once again we can be in full control of the strength of it and even the amount of grain and vignette, I feel like the more control a program gives you, just the better your edit will turn out because you are doing exactly what you want. And when I was starting out, I was sort of wondering why people would add grain to their photos. I was like, isn't that something we're all trying to avoid? <laughs> But especially for edits like this when you're layering on something that isn't really there, like this light, it's just more convincing to the eye because it kind of adds another layer of this ad additional sort of organic feel. So don't always think of it as a bad thing if you're curious why I'm adding it after. Now that we've made all these adjustments to just one singular photo, the coolest part, I know I said there's like three other parts that are my favorite, but this is so helpful. You can copy and paste this edit to another photo. What's also really cool is that when you're editing, you can actually edit multiple photos at once. So if that's something you're into, go for it. But I love how even though Charlotte is in a completely different pose in this image where I'm copy and pasting the edit, it still registers that and projects the light differently. Like that is amazing. What we can even do here is copy and paste this edit into a completely different photo set. So maybe this other photo where Charlotte's in a completely different kind of lighting setup or like this photo of Megan I shot. I love how the edit looks on this as well. Obviously it might look a little crazy, but from the colors and the temperature, but with just a few adjustments. It's so, so nice to have a sort of baseline edit to work off of. Editing for me literally takes the majority of my day to day, I feel like. So I'm literally always down to play with a program that makes everything just go a lot smoother. So now presenting you all of the before and afters that we just did. So we edited all of these photos with basically one singular edit and they all look different in a way because the program is sort of processing each image and what's going on that differently. And so because of that, the outcome is a little different as well. But yeah, let me know how you guys enjoyed this edit. This was a super fun one. And of course, I'll be leaving a link down below where you can download Aperity for yourself. It's releasing on November 7th. A huge thank you to Aperity again for working with me on this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!